Right, fingers on buzzers, one more thing to get. John's team. Well, there's been a parliamentary probe this week. Another one. It's got Liam Fox into a lot of trouble. There is this weird thing that's got, it's sort of the unsaid thing in the paper, isn't it, that uh, Adam Werity and uh, Liam Fox have been uh, doing it. It's more that they got to a point where they tried to report it as a news story, because it's a big news story that, you know, someone's been gaining access to Parliament, basically, and lobbying for arms deals that he has nothing to do with. And they tried to report all that, and people went, eh. And then in the middle of the week, they just went, and they might be doing it with each other. Are they saying it overtly, though, the press? No. So, yeah. There's a rumour that Liam Fox is gay, but he's denied it and he's a married man, so... It's what do you make of this? It. What do you make of Liam Fox resigning? Well, what I, I don't know. What I find funny about it is that, uh, is the, uh, the, <laughs> <laughs> is the Defence Secretary has got himself in a situation where his friend is a non-executive director of a so-called charitable organisation which has been funded by right-wing American businessmen, <laughs> while at the same time, right, he's, <laughs> oh dear, he's posing as uh, an advisor to the MOD while pursuing his own paid lobbying agenda. I mean, stuff like that, you can't make it up. He's just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was laughing about it with the wife this morning. I was going, oh, can you believe what they did? <laughs> I mean, the more you think about it, the more you just go, ha, ha, ha! <laughs> 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 There's something new comes on. It's <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah, it's, he's a flamboy man in his 50s. He wants to go away. He wants he's to take a friend. He's along. He's what? bringing a friend on holiday, oh, staying in the same hotel. Where's the, where's the problem there? But the thing is, you don't bring your friends to work unless you're a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a well-known role. It's a plumber's mate. There's no well-known role as... Hello, what do you do? I'm a Defence Secretary's mate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just help him get stuff from the van. Yeah, yeah, you know. yeah, exactly. yeah, well, do you think they ever had a chat and, and, and said to each other, Listen, you come with me, we'll have a bit of a laugh, we'll go around the world, we'll set up a company, we'll get on the blag, we'll get a little bit of this, a little bit of that, we'll get away with it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just weird, it's bizarre. They That's must have it. had that conversation at some stage, they must I would have. imagine. I just like the fact that his real title's Dr Fox. <laughs> 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 like the fat DJ. Yeah. <laughs> Cos, you know, that's funny. <laughs> I think mean, it'd be weird having someone's name, you know, sharing your name with Dr Fox, like, cos... Maybe, like, for years there were women walking around happy with the name Susan Boyle. <laughs> 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 and then suddenly, like, ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> Answer the phone. Who's that? Oh, Susan Boyle. Oh. <laughs> they don't apologise, do they? The Tories, they're very good at using every... It's like a long speech in which Was... not once did he say, I've done it. <laughs> Soz. And he started off by saying, I just want you to know that last week I saw a man whose kids were dead. So let's get this in perspective. Yeah, that was, that was incredible. <laughs> if you get busted at work, you're not allowed to do it. I just want you to know, someone got stabbed in town last night, so... <laughs> Cameron said that he uh, resigned with dignity, didn't he? Mm. Which really annoys me. I won't see one go mental. <laughs> <laughs> Smash his office up, you know. Call Cameron a wanker and then shit in his yucca plant. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look and see whether Liam Fox is up there.